Thanksgiving is right around the corner, so we did some front porch fall decor with a little Thanksgiving flavor <laughs> using uh, some handmade techniques, our Cricut and a Glowforge. And we'll show you how we did it right now. Sorry, Tom. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're doing something I know you'll gobble up. Some Thanksgiving themed fall front porch stuff. Things like some decor. Some... Like some decor. <laughs> yep, so we're gonna continue with our Thanksgiving theme. We started last week with our table decorations, but I found a few more things that I thought would be fun for this week. And Well, last week was indoors. This week we're taking it back outdoors. Kind of. So. Yes, we are taking it outdoors. We're gonna make a wreath, we're gonna make a standing porch sign, and we're gonna make a cute little standing turkey. I saw this little turkey, I thought he was adorable, and I was like, Garrett, can you make me something like this with the feet? I need feet, I need him to be standing with his little feet. So he designed it, we made it. Uh, it kinda goes with the gnomes. I had a lot of people who love the gnomes and yeah. love those standing gnomes, so hopefully you'll like this little standing turkey, and I think it will be great as a project for kids because it'll be easily paintable. Oh yeah, yeah, it's easily paintable. All right, project number one. Is a standing towering Tom turkey standing at 24 inches. <laughs> <laughs> Step one, we're gonna gather all of our materials. We really just needed some MDF. We're using some quarter inch. And then we need some paints because he's a colorful turkey. <laughs> and I think that's it, right? Oh, glue. And some glue. Paint, glue, MDF. Step two. Now we're gonna take Tom over to the glue forge and cut him out of the MDF. Step three. Now we paint. So I got all of our little pieces cut out out of the MDF. So that's, his, that's his head and chest, his body. Oh. Ugh. He's his a little fatty. Feathers. There you go. So we're going to throw a coat of this chalk paint on there. Oh, we're going to use our country chic chalk paint. Chalk paint. It's chalk more like paint. clay paint. This stuff is like. We're going to use wonder. fireworks as the green, red is paint the town, and yellow is fresh mustard. And that's what I'm painting these feathers. What is that, canape? Yep. Well, canape, what is a canape? So you're going to use brown. Oh, I'm using this brown. Dark roast <laughs> and a canape. <laughs> if you know what a canape is, let me know in a comment down below. Step four, and now we're going to assemble it. We're gonna use this clear Gorilla Glue contact adhesive and then slide his feet together. Pretty easy. All right, so that's still a little bit wet. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. still sliding. Well, I'll lay him back down, but I think you can stand him up and show. Bam, he stands. Look at that. He is bad. so cute. See, I told you he was going to be adorable. Yeah, pretty sturdy too. Look. So it's the plan bad. is to sit him outside, sit him on the porch. Now, he is made of MDF, so you can order this in our store. KimmyGarrettMakeIt.com forward slash store. Or just takes no, you right to I the store. I think it's KNGMakeIt.com. <laughs> yeah. KNGMakeIt.com. <laughs> we'll get you right to our store. So this is out of MDF, so you don't want him to get soaking wet because the MDF will soak up the water. It's not made out of pressure treated lumber like we do our front porch welcome signs. But if you have a covered porch, he could stand outside. Otherwise, he can stand inside on a front table. It looks adorable. We are going to hit him with some clear acrylic to seal it. Yeah, some polyacrylic. So I'll take that out. But I think his nose needs to dry a little bit more, so we'll lay him down. Take a nap, guy, take a nap. Project number two. Welcome sign. Well, regular welcome sign. Easy welcome sign. Easy welcome sign. Yes. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our materials. We just needed a one by 12. 
some MDF, and some paints. Right, we're using, we were planning to make this out of our pickets like we normally do, the dog-eared fence pickets, like we do our other signs. But, if you recall, and you watched last week's video, where would it be? Right there. <laughs> we did the tabletop lanterns, and we used just a piece of this 1x12. No, this was actually used for the standing... Oh yeah, it was the standing porch post. Yes, the porch post. We anyway, just needed one little nugget of it. Yes, we just used 11 inches of it. So I, instead of making the pickets or using the pickets, I thought we'd have, this is the perfect size. It's 60 inches, so it's five feet. It's the perfect size to make a sign. So we're gonna use this. Now, like I just said with Tom Turkey over there, <laughs> the pickets are pressure treated lumber and they're best for if you're gonna have it somewhat in the rain and in the weather. This board will not be pressure treated, so we're going to keep it under our covered porch. It should be fine like that, but uh, just wanted to caution you that this is just pine and it's not pressure treated. It we're going to put a poly, crack. yeah, we're going to put a polyacrylic on it, and and hopefully that'll keep it a little bit weatherproof, yeah. but not as well as those pickets. Yeah, that's right. Reuse, recycle, re something, re mix, purpose, uh, repurpose. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. Oh, well, there's no real cuts to make. It's just taking over the MDF, back to the Glowforge. We're gonna cut out design. So he created an SVG for me for this one. Mm -hmm. I wanted it to say, incredibly thankful. Um, the incredible kind of comes from our Mr. Fox. I love a fantastic Mr. Fox. And if you've seen one of our, our farmhouse sign, our six foot farmhouse sign, We'll put it right here. Huh, we're doing another one. There's another <laughs> one over here. These are I'm just winging this. <laughs> anyway, we love the word incredible. We use it a lot. So this is gonna say incredibly it's incredible thankful. Incredible how much we use the word incredible. Yeah, it is. And so this one's gonna say incredibly thankful. We'll have the SVG in our store. So if you have a cricket at home, you can create a stencil and you can stencil this. Or we're going to make the MDF letters available in our store as well so that you can make the same sign that we're making. So I don't have to make a cut for this. We're going to make it, go ahead and take it on over to the Glowforge and cut out our letters. <laughs> Step three. Oh, Woo. now we're going to stain and paint. So I'm going to stain our board first. What we were just discussing, and I can't decide what to do. I think I'm going to stain this and I'm debating on whether or not I want a coat of, paint, a coat of white paint over top of it and distress it, or if I just want to leave it stained. Our board is stained, and now we're going to paint our letters. I shared with you last time. Hmm. A couple of projects ago. I don't know. Uh, this technique for painting these letters and trying to keep these edges dark, uh, you'll use these little makeup sponges. So you just dab it in your paint, just get a little bit of paint on there. So I dab it off and then paint it like that. Just do this dabbing technique and it does a great job of keeping those edges dark. While we were painting, the judges made a call, <laughs> and half of the board is now getting painted white. Yes, so I have the letters laid out here. I don't know how well you guys can see it from there. They're just laid on here. And it looks nice, and I like the brown. The brown was supposed to kind of bring in that alternate Thanksgiving color, but it just doesn't have that pop, so... That Pinterest pop. So what I think I'm going to do is take Garrett's idea and I'm going to paint half of it white and distress it, but leave the other half brown, so... Stained brown. Yep. I just want it to have some sort of different interest to it. We're going to use vanilla frosting. Oh, vanilla frosting. Changing it up a little bit. And uh, with my last order of Country Chic paint, I got this cute little... <clears throat> beeswax bar will help with distressing so I haven't tried it yet we're gonna try it this time are you gonna rub it on the edges and stuff so, yeah what do you say where do we rub it yeah I would just, just stick to the edges really.
Okay, we're distressed. Step four. Now we're gonna glue it down using this clear Gorilla Glue. It's just like the regular stuff, but clear. <laughs> great. We're going to have to set it aside to dry. We can do our next project while it dries. Project number three. We're making our Tom Turkey wreath. It's a wreath. Yeah, well, it's cute. It's something different than we normally. It's, it's just straight crafty. Just crafty is what this thing yeah, is. Just... We're going to use up. Oh, I'll let you I'll let you gather all your supplies first. Oh, Go ahead. Yeah. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We just needed a piece of chipboard, a circle of foam. A 16 inch foam wreath, some foam tulle, wreath. and all the typical fall Thanksgiving colors, and some felt, and the same oh. colors. I have a brown, orange, yellow, tan, red. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. We're really just cutting this mesh stuff. Ooh. Tool. Tool. So we need, we're going to tie this around the foam wreath and we need them about 16 inches. How long is this thing? 20 inches. That's too long. I need something this long. How tall is this? Just so happen to have a board sitting. Just This is why we don't show you our craft room. <laughs> it's crazy. 17, 17 and, and a half. half. Close It'll enough. It's close enough. Yep. So what we're going to do here is, Garrett, Garrett <laughs> we're going to wrap this around. Oh, okay. How many times? Um, I want, um, I think it'll be 15 times. I think, times. I'm just guessing here. Okay. So just keep going here. until I tell you to stop. Oh, Hold okay. Oh. Put it on your finger. Now the Almost plan done. is, <laughs> really, we'll have to do this one in a uh, fast forward for you. All right, so in theory, we have about 30 of these. I don't really know how many we're gonna need. We're gonna have to wait and see. Now oh, we're doing the same thing with this one? Yes, with all the colors. We're going to do the same thing oh, with all the colors. All the colors, huh? We're mm. cutting 18 inch pieces, 30 18 inch pieces in all of these colors. Yes. tool cut. Next up, as we tie this on, you'll be able to see the styrofoam wreath below, below, beneath it, under. behind it, under it. Yeah, In exactly. It. So we're going to paint this thing brown first. We're going to use our dark roast right here. So we're going to start wrapping our tool around the edges. We're going to do five of the same color in a row. So hold that for me. Step three, and now we have the accents. <laughs> We've completed, put it our, completed putting our tool on our wreath. I love it. Look how great this looks. I just love the way this looks. This thing is super cute. So now it needs a little accent right here. So we got to stick with our turkey theme and put us a little Tom turkey right on here. So I had Garrett 
go out and find some clip art, created us an SVG of a little turkey that you can use to cut on the Glowforge, you can use it to cut on the Cricut. So I think what we're going to do today is use our Cricut and we're going to uh, cut a chipboard back. Well. We're gonna cut the chipboard back. Yeah, I'm gonna cut the chipboard back on the glue forge. But you could cut it on your Cricut. Yeah. And then we're gonna use felt. I'm gonna use the same SVG and I'm gonna cut out the felt pieces in different colors using the Cricut. So I found while I was cutting the felt that it didn't cut all the way through. So I had to use the wool felt setting and the rotary blade. And then it cut really well uh, except in some places I had to trim it just a little bit. A little scissor help. We're back with all of our felt pieces, our little piece of chipboard here, and I think I'm gonna try this Mod Podge, the Spray Mod Podge that one of our viewers sent to us. Look at this little guy. Uh -huh. Isn't that so cute? It would have been easier if we made it all out of chipboard. Yeah. Where are we going to put him? Just hang him out right there? Yeah. I think he needs to say Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I might have to add a little something now that A little like last it. minute add to this project? <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm just putting glue here. Yeah, a lot of it. Yeah, great job. Oh, I got you. Keep going and I'll catch it. Oh my goodness. Oh, All right, my go in, get it. Oh, All yeah. right. I definitely think it's going to need some. We're so going to add needs... a little something extra, but we'll do that for final shots. It needs Happy Thanksgiving then? Yeah. Don't you think? Sure. Show you what we're working with. Looking pretty cute. Isn't that cute? But I still think it's missing something right here. So I think we're going to cut out a Happy Thanksgiving. And put that, what is this back here? It's a glob of hot glue. What are it you doing, babe? It is a glob of hot glue. Gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think? What you, you guys got like this tall Tom Turkey guy over here? Look at how cute this turned out. We had the Happy Thanksgiving. With a tiny Tom Turkey? Yep. But I tell you what, I wouldn't do it out of felt again. No. No. Mm -mm. no. <laughs> <laughs> it was an idea. It was an idea. It wasn't the best idea. <laughs> it's not bad. It kept it light, but. Oh, it was hard to glue down. It wasn't sticking, and then I got that Mod Podge all over my fingers, and yeah. Hint: Don't use the Mod Podge. Use the hot glue. That worked a lot better. Mm -hmm. I just come back with hot glue, and I'm loving oh. the porch sign. Yeah. And did you notice we we had to go back and add the Happy Thanksgiving? Yeah. Last minute add. Yeah. And while I had the hot glue out for this, I fixed old Mini Tom over here. No, Mini Tom. Tiny Tom. Tiny Tom. <laughs> And then our five foot tall, five foot tall sign here. It looks good. It's I like incredible. the two tones. I enjoy the two tones. A little something different. Never done it before. Like we said, both of these are available in our store. We'll put the thankful letters, incredible, which will be in three pieces because I can't ship it in one. And then the whole Tom Turkey would be a fun craft for kids. And that'll be in our store as well. Oh yeah, it would be a fun craft for the kids. Kind of like a paint by numbers minus the numbers. And this one too. It's pretty easy. Just a little, takes a little time to tie all these things on, but it looks really cute. It's super crafty. I love how they all coordinate. I love the colors. Yeah, that is great. Me and Tom got to hit the road. So we'll uh, see you next week where we'll do it building and make it again. And uh, Tom's doing a headstand. Yeah. I like how his feet are together. They're like, oop, can I do it? Oh. 
I can't balance with my left hand. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh,